Hi again, um, there have this request for some more seated workouts. And um, this is sort of another half a long, so you can actually blend and use some of the seated, the, the bed or supine or laying down workouts or the Tai Chi, or if you're using the more beginning or mobile vertical exercise, you can go. So this is gonna be a lot of this complementing along. So more upper body and then seated. I'm gonna chair here. Okay, so when you get started, you can use your hand weights, or just your arms, and really about getting the body in movement. So just gonna try to do this one as many reps as you can, just arms up, like we call cactus arms, like they see in yoga, as many reps as you can. It's all about repetition. So maybe do on 20 to 30 reps, one, two, three, Slow, fast as you can. Five, six, seven. I'm not even counting. I'm just doing as many as I can. Okay, so just do as many as you can. At these cactus arms. Short, good for the shoulders, the deltoids, get the blood moving. Many people with the static have a lot of heavy arms because the blood doesn't circulate. This would be good. And if you have joint mobility, do what feels right. Comfortable to be big, high movements, what feels right. And arms to the lap. And now what we're gonna do is get some squatting, getting upright to the chair. Some of you might not be able to get your tush off the chair much, just a little. Just up as many squats you can do. Just do 10, high as you can, all the way up. And some of you might just, just get your, just an inch. So you might need to hold on to the chair and do it. Just as long as you get some activation. So one, two. I'm not even counting. It's all about really the movements. And then back down. Now from there, you're gonna actually just open your arms up you, like you're doing sort of a big fan. And you might even want to, if you have some low weights, use some weights, as many as you can, maybe 10, 15, 20, 30, slow movements, slow movements, you have hand weights, or just use your body weight. It's good for the chest. Open that chest up nice and wide, and then hands down. And then back to the squatting. Go high up again, sit, Put your butt down the chair if you want to. Stand up, down, stand up, down in the chair. Or you can just continue. Hands up, don't put your touch in the chair. Or just small movements, one inch up. And the key is you make one, two with this is keep your back as straight as possible. Don't lean forward. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. So, And some of you might want to actually hold a weight. Okay, back down, about 10 reps. Do what feels right. Hold on to the chair if you want to. You get a little arm workout by doing that. Do what feels right. Now, the next one's going to be um, some more of these lateral rises, raises. You can use soda cans, water bottles, so it's holiday cans, books, lateral raises. Do, a, do as many as you want. Do 10, 15, 20, or till your arms get fatigued. We can just use your, just your own body weight. Okay. Try to get those legs, bodies moving. Then up. And again, some of you might just have slight movements like this. That's okay. Some might hold onto a chair and just lift up. Do what feels right. Just try to get those thighs and those leg muscles engaged. It builds circulation, gets you moving. You might just, some of you might just do this movement back and forth. That's okay. Do it for 10, do it for a minute, make it your own. Back and forth and sit down. Good. 
Actually, two more exercises that you've done. Curling. This one, you might want to use a little weight or something. A water bottle, a soda can, do something. Back and forth, do one arm at a time. As many reps as you can, straight back. Make sure you're breathing when you do this. Back and forth, back and forth. Remember, breathing out slows your heart rate down. Because you're, you take a deep, deep breath in, your lungs fill lungs with oxygen. So your heart has to increase to get blood to your body. Deep breath out. Automatically slows your heart rate down. It's the adrenaline down. So hands down. Now back again. One, two. Do, and do what feels right. So I might just do little dips like this. That's okay. We just want you moving, get the blood moving, circulating. The worst thing to do is to slay around. Even though you're you feel this condition makes you feel so bad. That's what you want to do. That's a normal feeling. Nothing to feel guilty or shame about. That's a normal feeling. You're gonna feel your legs feel a little achy now. And the last one's gonna be is like a boxing thing, which is good for the shoulders. And it's gonna go back and forth. Some of you might use the books. Some of you might use the weights. Just don't box anybody. And just go back and forth. As much as you can, 10. Go for a minute, make it your own. You can keep growing this and make it your own. And then, when you're done, stand up. The same thing, just for like 10. I'm not even counting, you're just trying to get as much as you can get in there. All right, so that's it. It's a way of just trying to get the body moving. You'll be surprised how you do this. You'll keep building and we can keep adding sets. You can do this over and over again for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Don't waste your energy so you're wiped out the whole day. Within each time frame of this, slow down the reps as much as you want, add more weights as much as you want, as many repetitions, make it your own. The thing we want you to do is move your body. So have a great day. We really appreciate you.